Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and today I have something quite different. I'm going to try to not even edit this video. I kind of doubt that I'm going to succeed in that, but we're going to try it. So today I just wanted to explore a particular website that I was sent. I believe it was the person Shepherd that uh, is from the Am I the A-Hole Ita video special thingamajig <laughs> that sent this to me. Now, I wanted to react to this website and the information on it with you guys. Okay, so this whole thing is called the reconnection. Uh, it looks... <laughs> I don't know if, if this is like an actual... Uh, what is the word? Cult or not? It, it does look like a whole bunch of BS though, so... <laughs> It just seems like it seems to be, you know, right up my alley, apparently. Uh, so, apparently, there's a three-step thing. We're going to look real quick at this page. The Portal 1 Online Essentials Course Live Teleclass. Open the portal to the ultimate altered state experience and begin your excursion with an infinite source of intelligence, igniting your personal healing and life process. This is the entry into your new vibrational <laughs> reality i mean okay <clears throat> the catalyst number two live immersion weekend level two I, I love how the first one doesn't say level one but like the other two say what level they are in addition to the number level in case you're too stupid to read the giant number to the left. The Live Immersion Weekend is where you will realize the accelerated presence of healing in all areas of your life. In your own personal mastery, gain the opportunity to recognize your relationship with the reconnective healing frequencies. Oh boy. The Evolution. The RCPP Level 3. Yes, that rhymes, and the child in me does want to giggle at that. Reconnection Certified Practitioner Program. Oh, <laughs> so you too can teach this. Re yeah, okay. Learn how to facilitate the once-in-a-lifetime experience of the personal reconnection, an expanded exchange of energy, light, and information, TM. Bro, is that how trademarks work, though? <laughs> what? Because wouldn't... Wouldn't, like, the reconnection... Okay, okay, well, that's a registered... I didn't know you could trademark the word inform... Is the entire paragraph trademarked? I didn't even know you could do that. Is that just... I feel like that's BS, but whatever. Moving on. We have down here reconnective healing registered as well. Uh, reconnective healing is a tangible energy interaction with an other dimensional intelligence with a capital I. So, is this one of those, like, things where people believe, like, maybe they're, like, believing, like, the energy is, like, God, but, like, you know, because, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like, there's energy and it's, instead of, like, being a God or something, it's, like, the intelligence or something? I don't know, but, uh, it does, does definitely look a little culty. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so let's let's go find out what these they are all about here. All right, we got two faces here. About us, our mission statement at the Reconnection: We serve to connect humanity with the intelligence of the Reconnective Healing Registered Trademark <laughs> Frequencies to make infinite healing and evolution fully acceptable, access accessible, transparent, and easily learned by everyone. Who buys our course? <laughs> they didn't say that word. All right, so we have Dr. Eric Pearl and just Jillian Fleer. So we have uh, Dr. Eric Pearl. It, he ran a. Oh, God. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems to be that a lot of places that have kind of fishy science or almost like lack of science and claim magical healing powers through their random programs and cult-like things tend to have a chiropractor <laughs> involved. I don't know what it is about chiropractors that like encourages this sort of thinking. I don't I don't think chiropractic work is bad by any means, but for some reason chiropractors tend to be involved in a lot of weird movements and uh things like that i i don't i don't, I don't know 
So he ran a chiropractic practice in Los Angeles before discovering reconnective healing. One day, his patients began to report healings when he simply held his hands... <laughs> <clears throat> when he simply held his hands near them without him physically touching them. So question though, were they reporting like magical healings uh, before? before when he was physically touching them or they're just like hey dude don't touch me i'm healed <laughs> just don't touch me so he went in search of the universal wisdom behind what was happening unlike today's known forms of energy healing this work can be practiced without complex technique or elaborate ritual why do i feel like the reason it doesn't have to be practiced with those things is because you just gotta like buy their product or buy their course I don't know. I, maybe I'm coming into this a little judgy, but it just sounds a little quacky. All right, then we have Jillian Fleer. I'm not bothering to go into the full wackadoo uh, profile here, but Jillian Fleer is the head of insight and development. In collaboration with Dr. Eric Pearl, she oversees the direction and vision for the Reconnection and the Reconnective Healing Global Community. Jillian leads the Reconnection's internal team and is co-instructor with Eric for online and worldwide live programs. Together with teaching team director Pat Atanas and over 100 mentors with a capital M internationally, they've established reconnective healing as a professional practice so basically he is the dude who has doctor in front of his name to give them like legitimacy because he's a chiropractor uh and somehow people were like i'm magically healed when you get your hands near me but don't touch me which is weird but okay um and then jillian over here is like you know what we could do we could make some money all right so then we have our associate instructor team uh, with Malu Nobrega Perez. Uh, sorry, everybody, if I mess up people's names. That's, like, the most professional photo I've ever seen. <laughs> I love how everyone else has, like, a white background. Maybe it was edited out. Maybe they actually had a professional photo in front of a white background. But she's just like, here's my selfie. All right, then we have Raphael Coriat, maybe. Uh, okay. Romy Nishikawa and Carlos Velez, all of which I don't feel like getting into. Uh, <laughs> there's more people? Oh, good. Yay. Oh, oh, okay. There's more people. Uh, Margarita Alvarez, Gabrielle Bressum, Diane Butu, Buto, I don't know. Uh, the Raphael dude again. Patrice Fistor Jainik, jo Joan Fowler, Alu Guthmiller, RN. Andra Ivanov, I don't know why it matters that we're, so basically there's a lot of people. <laughs> that didn't really tell me a whole lot. Um, so these are instructors, basically. These are people who have went through the courses, and um, I guess that means they get a page, a uh, little, whatever you want to call that. Uh, that didn't really answer my questions about what the crap this is. So we're going to look at the reconnective healing and the personal reconnection. See if this, here we go. All right, I love if you can see this. <laughs> This little gif of this dude just, like, doing the magic hands over this person over and over. And honestly, it looks really creepy. <laughs> but hey, you know. <clears throat> Reconnective Healing, registered trademark, is a return to wholeness, capital. It is life progress, also capitalized. At the forefront of its field, it is a new level of healing that scientists and researchers feel we can access for the very first time. Okay, quick question. Who are these scientists and researchers? Because so far I've only seen the chiropractor and the lady with the business plans and then all the people that they've trained to be instructors. Where, where are the scientists and researchers at? Where are they at? I don't, I don't see them. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Reconnective healing, registered trademark, completely transcends traditional energy healing techniques. It allows us to let go of the concept, approach, and even the need for technique itself while inducing the benefits of all known energy healing methods. It is neither a therapy nor a treatment, as it does not focus on symptoms. It is something much, much more. Okay, so... Uh, so far, what I've gathered is that we are trying to say that they're accessing this special healing thing for the first time. However, 
they're saying basically other people have access to this magical healing except for they do a certain technique but you can do it without a technique but it's actually reconnective healing register trademark this is so weird whatever okay Reconnective healing doesn't require diagnosis, complicated steps, procedures, or rituals. We simply interact with the reconnective healing frequencies, bringing about healings that are often instantaneous and tend to be lifelong. And the only tools required are your awareness, consciousness, and presence. Okay, so basically, you have to be a human being, alive and awake, and then some other person is going to wave their hands over you because they don't have to do a special ritual. But, I mean, the dude over here is doing some weird thing with his hands. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, then you are going to magically be healed, apparently. Uh, reconnective healing is a return to an optimal state of balance that results from interacting with its fully comprehensive spectrum of frequencies consisting of energy, light, and information. Information is a frequency now? Okay. <sighs> Recent studies have even shown that this spectrum brings about a distinctly beneficial transformation in our d- <clears throat> Your DNA is going to change when the man waves his hand over your body. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Um, no, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I'm not a medical professional. However, my understanding of DNA is uh, that it's really not a thing that changes, really. It replicates itself. I've heard that people have actually tried to reprogram DNA before, like take DNA put different information on it, put it in the body, and the body rewrites itself to what it should be. Uh, so, don't know how we're magically changing DNA. I would love to see uh, <laughs> actual peer-reviewed studies uh, that says that, that waving hands over someone uh, changes their DNA because <laughs> I feel like more people would know about that. Just, just a thought. RH, okay, we're finally done saying reconnective healing registered trademark is received and it is because that is the right kind of it's right there highest form when we allow ourselves to release expectations <laughs> <clears throat> so basically guys if you if you come into this expecting to be healed <laughs> it's not gonna work because you're not at the highest level in which you have released your expectations <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay <clears throat> it restores coherence and harmony in our lives and transforms our bodies hearts minds and souls physically mentally emotionally spiritually and in many ways that otherwise may seem impossible okay but question though what other ways are there than physically mentally emotionally and spiritually <laughs> i think you covered them all you, you cover you covered them all i feel like you did okay these new frequencies of healing and evolution first became known to the scientific community where's the scientists when discovered by dr eric pearl oh my god okay this does smell of a cult uh because <sighs> is that the same guy okay hold on maybe i'm wrong maybe it's not the same guy let's let's go back real quick uh, no, it is. Okay, so we have the almighty Dr. Eric Pearl, who magically discovered this, um, thing. Because he's amazing, and oh my god, let's like, he's so amazing. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> with cults, a lot of times, there's like one figurehead, and it looks to be Dr. Eric Pearl here. Um, and they're like, somehow specially enlightened, more than other people so he has discovered this special reconnective thing or yeah reconnection or whatever the crap this is uh so he, he has discovered this magical thing and he is going to be the first person who's ever done this uh they're thrown around the scientific community even though i've seen zero citation of what you mean by scientific if you mean a dude who is a chiropractor claiming things equals scientific you're kind of wrong but whatever um so then we we've got this dude 
And I guess it's scientific because you're claiming to change your DNA through waving hands over people when you don't expect anything. Um, so yeah, this this smells of a cold because you're going to magically transform yourself in all the ways possible and even more ways that we're not going to really say. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Anyway, basically what I'm trying to say is Dr. Eric Pearl looks to be the figurehead of this very possibly a cult situation here. All right, so <clears throat> today reconnective healing is taught by Eric along with his life partner Jillian Fleer, aka her his business partner. So Jillian Fleer, his business partner, I mean life partner, and their global teaching team, basically the uh, people they have convinced of their quackery, easily learned by everyone. Now you too can master this extraordinary work. Oh, oh my. So, apparently, you're gonna... Oh, 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 we got some more information. The personal reconnection. The personal reconnection utilizes the frequencies of reconnective healing, but is very precise and differs in its application. I don't get it. Oh, okay, so we have general reconnective healing. And then we have the personal reconnection, because the general one, you don't have to have a special technique, but this one's like focused more like do you put your hands in a special like focus zone i don't <clears throat> it is a focused formation reconnecting the grid work of your body to the ley lines of our planet and reconnecting these grids to the universal grid in all dimensions of time and space in your personal reconnection you are reconnecting to a timeless system of intelligence your master vibration and your evolution Alrighty. You are actively choosing to access all that you have learned throughout your lifetimes. That, that's with an S. All right, so we've got like, um, I guess, reincarnation kind of beliefs here, maybe. But like also like the universe has like special fields that like you're going to magically connect yourself to on a grid uh, or something like that. In this dimension and beyond. It is an ongoing process, and it will continue to unfold as you begin to make new choices on your life path, moving into your life progress. Now, this is also capitalized. That's, that's another thing with, like, cults and weird programs like this, is that everything has a special name. And we're going to go into this special, like, tier of, uh, maybe, like, a special step or tiers of understanding, and the more you go into this magical thing you <laughs> enter more enlightenment uh this is this reeks of a cult many who have experienced their personal reconnection simply say life is easier the personal reconnection is facilitated in two separate sessions on two separate days. Your second session must be completed within approximately three days after the first session so that you don't have that much time to think about how completely and utterly stupid this whole thing is. Just kidding, it didn't say that. I, I added that part. Receiving your personal reconnection is a choice. Not everyone chooses to... <laughs> <clears throat> Not everyone chooses to shift their life at this accelerated pace. The personal reconnection is facilitated once in a lifetime. Okay, so <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's because you didn't choose to shift your life at that accelerated pace. Um, and you didn't make the choice, right? See, also, they're trying to give you that sense of urgency. Like, you have to complete it perfectly because it's only going to happen once in a lifetime. <sighs> This is, this is really special. Oh yes, we've got a book. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we have a book? Yay. Books. Love it so much. Oh, oh my. <clears throat> Can you hire someone who isn't gonna just like steal two random images and like, like, so on the top of this cover it definitely looks like someone took this picture but it was like pixelated so they kind of like blurred a little bit like i'm speaking from experience <laughs> and then they were like well uh we're gonna reconnect so everyone sees this image and then we're gonna just place the universe kind of picture down here and um boom 
you have a book cover. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Of course, it's by the lovely Dr. Eric Pearl. In his book, Dr. Eric Pearl tells the story of how he first encountered the reconnective healing frequencies and set foot on the path of healing, as astonishment quickly turned into awe. I just want to know, is astonishment and awe all that different that astonishment comes into awe? Or what is what about awe coming into astonishment? Or is it just like, maybe it's because like astonishment carries a, a, an element of surprise and then you drop your surprise because you're just staring off into this whatever <clears throat> nitpicking at this point my apologies dr pearl came to understand that, that there is a universal intelligence that is accessible to all of us oh sorry to us all one that can facilitate extraordinary healings through bringing us into alignment balance and harmony entertaining and inspiring what <laughs> It's entertaining too. All right. I mean, shoot, just hit hit all of the all of the boxes. Entertaining and inspiring. This book is written in the way that Eric speaks, leaving readers feeling intimately acquainted with him. I do not want to be intimately acquainted with this man. I am not reading this book. I'm not doing it. I get it that people write a certain way to like make people want to read, but like you? From his birth, during which his mother momentarily died, to his first experience with healings that could not be explained, to his quest for answers with authorities who were baffled, to his launch of the reconnection and the reconnective healing training programs, this book tells it all, making it the perfect introduction to Dr. Eric Pearl's work. The Reconnection, Heal Others, Heal Yourself, an international bestseller, now in 40 languages. Oh my god. Eric is an amazing man with the superb gift of healing. Read this book and be transformed. By John Edward, a psychic medium, author of Crossing Over. <sighs> Again, Dr. Eric Pearl is an amazing man. Like, this just is so, it does, it reeks, it reeks of a cult. Alright, so we've got, like, and I feel like Germany did the best. Oh, 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 Denmark uh, did better, I feel like, maybe a little bit better. But uh, of the, maybe, you know, they tried a little harder, I think, with the, ooh! Ooh, look at Spain. Spain gets it together. I don't know. Anyway, so it's interesting that the front cover of the book changes so much. I feel like this one is probably like the most accurate. I don't know, man. Either way, so basically they're like, hey, you can listen or read, sorry, this garbage in a million different uh, languages. And uh, there you go. Super, super amazing. I'm super excited about it. Sorry, I do uh, like doing random accents. Uh, I hope I don't offend people. It's not like, oh, 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 we got the science. We got the science. <laughs> I want to see the science. Someone tell me about the science. Oh, oh, yeah. It's got to be legit because there's leaves on the side. All right. This is from Gary Schwartz, a PhD. All right. Um, Nikola Tesla. Okay. <laughs> Are they trying to say that because there are waves and energy and all that crap that this makes it scientific? Because we understand that light and sound, stuff like that, travels in either like waves or like, there's another word I feel like I'm, I should know this. But we understand that these things exist because of things like light and sound. Are they trying to say that that means, oh my god. <clears throat> bioenergetic studies conducted on reconnective healing practitioners and those being treated the university of arizona's human energy systems laboratory conducted a series of carefully designed controlled scientific experience experiments with dr pearl and other reconnective healing practitioners to determine whether the reconnective energy was something measurable in and real in the laboratory it's just a quick question though. Was this paid for by Dr. Pearl? I'm just wondering. 
Uh, Dr. Pearl and several of his students served as senders while volunteers acted as receivers in the studies. The multiple... Hmm. Mm. Okay, but wouldn't it be different experience in one study? Experiments in one study? I don't feel like... Maybe I'm wrong about that. The multiple studies showed that the reconnective healing energy functions like an electromagnetic signal. One study set out to examine what transpires when a reconnective healing is applied to plants. Okay. Were the plants the volunteers? Is, is this what we're doing today? Plant leaves were selected and matched for size and consistency. What was known was that when leaves are separated from their life source, stem or trunk, they die. When leaves are in the process of dying, they actually bleed. Not blood or fluid, but light. Light leaves... <laughs> Sorry. Light leaves the leaves. Okay. Light leaves the organisms as they die. In each experiment, the control leaf in the pair was left to die naturally. The other matched leaf was subject to one of several healing modalities. Uh, okay, I'm, 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 quick, quick thing here though. Uh, I, when you look over at their picture, these are different leaves, like as in from different organisms. So they were, let's see, selected and matched for size and consistency. So just because I have one leaf from a completely different plant and another leaf from also a different plant that are the same size, some leaves are going to hold their green stuff longer than other leaves. Like you can't compare, <laughs> you can't compare them from different species 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 of plants that's that's not true science no just because they're the same size they need to be the same size and from the same plant you can't just be like oh this randomly from this thing and this other completely randomly from this other thing they're the same size so that's science oh my gosh okay whatever the naturally extinguishing leaf died in seven to ten days the other leaf with energy applied lasted approximately 90 days, 8 to 10 times longer after receiving Reiki, Qigong, or, re or reconnective healing. But, there, but here was the interesting distinction. With Reiki, the leaf's recovery started fast and then faded. With Qigong, it started slower but lasted longer. However, when reconnective healing was applied, it started faster and stayed much longer, helping to keep the leaves alive as long as 90 days. Okay, first of all, again, um, your scientific experiment is not <laughs> following the scientific method because you are not saying that the leaves are the same kind of leaves. Just because they're the same size does not mean that they're going to react similarly. Okay, uh, there are things to do with how these kind of organisms work. I'm not going to claim to know all the science behind it or all the biology behind it, but even like things like how you talk to your plant and stuff, like there are some things that matter, okay? I, I will say there are some things that are kind of like weird, but all right. But this is a leaf. This isn't a person. At the end of the day, this is a leaf, man. This is a leaf. And then a video, of course, uh, with them trying to say Nikola Tesla made it. Uh, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, I think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, that doesn't mean that waving your hands over someone and making them go through this thing and basically worship Do Dr. Pearl uh, is going to cause anything good. Oh, of course. Is this the doctor show? Is this what this is? Oh my god. Okay. Comparison of physical therapy with energy healing for improving range of motion in subjects with restricted shoulder mobility. Okay, so... Basically, they're going to do these random things that are usually kind of bogus. And plus, there's also this thing with your brain that that whole uh, suggestive kind of situation, you know. Um, also, for example, for example, with this, I'm I'm not gonna look into it because I'm not that bored. Oh, okay, five groups. Okay, I was gonna say if it was the same person, then that's like not even that doesn't make sense. But there's different groups, but. So basically, they're trying to say that other th other things, because they exist, makes it science. Um, do I think that there's a little something, a little, a little 
something to uh, the idea of maybe like energy and uh, electromagnetic fields and all that jazz? Sure. Um, considering how the world around us interacts, we're not 100% on everything. But I don't believe that um, <laughs> the reconnection is, is the way to go. This just, it does. It reeks of a cult. Just FAQs. Is this a cult? I swear if this is on there, I'm going to laugh really hard. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Now, I have looked on here very briefly before because I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> like, what did you send me? Uh, and I, I saw something about portals. Um, let's see. I know, like, there's an online thing and that's, like, the portal. But I thought they were saying, like, they, like, opened... Am I wrong? Maybe they didn't. But I thought that they like, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Voices from the tribe. Oh my gosh. No, do not find a, pra if you find your practitioner on uh, this list, drop them in a heartbeat, please. The portal. Okay. So let's see if, if they mean the portal because it's online or do they mean like you're literally, okay. This is really special. An intimate. Why do we keep using the word intimate? I get... It's just weird, okay? I do not in any way... <laughs> I do not in any way want to have an intimate and dynamic experience of 10 plus hours with Dr. Eric Pearl and Jillian Fleer. Personally. Open the portal and access the ultimate altered state experience through Reconnective Healing Online Essentials course. This is the entry into and onto your new expanded life landscape. An in-depth exploration of the thoughts, beliefs, and questions that may be difficult or even taboo to express. And be inspired to let answers and solution... <laughs> Answers and solutions blossom from within your own essence. Then culminate your online voyage with a live teleclass hosted by Dr. Eric Pearl and Jillian Fleer, where you get to communicate with them and fellow seekers. Oh my god, okay. Mmm, it's a cult. I'm gonna call it here. It's a cult. This has gotta be a cult. And your fellow seekers, like, does this not reek of a cult to you guys? It does to me, but all right. Directly, ask questions and share your own insights with the group. This state-of-the-art e-learning excursion is where you and the RH frequencies pair together to expand your personal awareness. You greet your essential self and embark on an exciting energy interaction that is only the beginning of your new vibrational reality. Can we not put vibrational reality and intimate and unforgettable timeless 10 plus hour voyage with Dr. Eric Pearl and Jillian Fleer in the same sentence? Can we not? It just, <laughs> can we not do that? That's just, that makes me uncomfortable. Like, it's just, okay. So you're going to greet your essential so Oh my god, this is just, okay, one, it's weird. I am sorry if you guys, you know, believe in, like, energy healings and stuff. Um, oh my god. I'm already irritated by reading most of this. Basically, uh, there's a magical flow that magically connects us, and, um, uh, this is magical, um, amazing, and by the doctor himself, and you're gonna be aware of your magical frequencies, and once you finish this magical course, you're gonna move on, uh, to another level, and, um, the six phrases, oh, good lord, the six phrases series, this, <laughs> oh my, okay, well, you, but you gotta have $66 right now. Through a dynamic series of conversations, Dr. Pearl explores the six phrases that were delivered to him by more than 50 of his patients while they were in a reconnective, healing, higher state of consciousness. These phrases were both a clear sign of and meaningful catalyst to the understandings that would lead to the reconnective healing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, the intelligence has a name. Uh, Dr. Pearl reveals in each episode previously unpublished information about his interaction with the intelligence known as Solomon. 
Now, if you're not familiar uh, with the Christian Bible, Solomon was supposed to be a very wise individual who uh, basically asked for wisdom from God and he gave it to him and he wrote a lot of wise sayings and stuff like that. I believe in Proverbs. I might be wrong on that. So that's interesting. <laughs> like, are you just pulling this out of your butt? I really feel like you are. You're like, you know, um, wise, um, intelligence, mm, Solomon, Solomon, speak to me. Like, okay, uh, maybe I'm just mean, but I feel like this guy is like getting people either in a state, because I know some people can get into like a state of, uh, where you can alter how they think and stuff. What is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> not a trance maybe it's a trance what is it called anyway you know when people do the thing and you basically you're manipulating someone's mind um so either they've gotten them into that kind of state or they're just straight up high and he's like i'm gonna share share what these random people said um for 66 dollars <laughs> oh and look i believe that there are like things we don't understand about the world but if you were to you know i have a christian background uh if you were to put this in a christian perspective him talking to an intelligence called solomon through these people who are in altered mental states would probably be considered talking to a demon but you know uh, that's just you know from the from from a christian standpoint that i i think some people might see it that way I don't know if this person is up on something or if he is making other people up on something or he's just manipulating their minds to like do and say like what he wants. But this, oh my God, this reeks of a cult. This reeks of a cult. Oh my God. The six phrases. Like, oh my God. Uh... I love how they try to make it more scientific in this uh, paragraph down here, it says he observed capitalized, noticed capitalized, and experienced capitalized what was happening within his patients and within himself, which he then channeled into a lifelong journey of discovery and sharing. <sighs> okay. All right. I think I've had enough of this. This is like, this is getting me more and more annoyed. Um, basically, this dude, like, look at his face. Is that mean? Maybe maybe that's mean. But, like, he looks like he's not with us <laughs> on planet Earth. But that's okay, you know, because he's in the, the reconnection talking to Solomon. But here's the deal. Uh, this is, I will say, is really culty. Um, I don't see, you know, of course, I don't think cults immediately present the idea of, like, oh, you can become a catalyst. That's... You can go to conferences. Anybody smell an MLM kind of pyramid scheme? Well, now this thing is uh, not quite like an MLM because you're not selling a product unless you want to call um, the magical reconnective thingamajig of product. But it looks like basically a BS demonstration um, that they go around and convince a bunch of people and they be they believe it. So... That's great. Anyway, but I was I was just trying to say that <laughs> I get easily distracted. I'm staring at the screen, okay? Um I know that most most cults will not present themselves as a cult, so they're not saying right now like separate from people who don't understand you. Uh I don't think that any person who wants to recruit people would do that. Uh but they do have other hallmarks just from their website of a cult. Um, we have the very special doctor who's actually a chiropractor, um, of course, making these magical claims about things, and there are special stages you go through, and of course, you want to pay for that special unlocked knowledge, and all of this sounds like a whole bunch of BS. Uh, so yeah, thank you to Shepard <laughs> for sending this in to me, uh, to go over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it may have been a lot of rambling, um disturbing sounds by me <laughs> and maybe really not my typical kind of video but I just I just wanted to do it so we did it and I hope that you I hope that you enjoyed it I hope I didn't like offend a whole like sub subgroup of my people who believe in in the reconnection or um very strongly believe in like energy healings and stuff like that I'm not trying to offend anybody just that's my perspective um 
and this specifically just again reeks of a cult so don't 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 join these people don't waste your money on this guys don't do it um anyway i uh hope that you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and drop a like <laughs> And uh, let me know what you thought of this video, what you think of the reconnection, and if I should ever do anything like this again or not, or if I should just leave this kind of stuff to my Patreon uh, for people who actually would want to watch it. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know. Drop a like, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!